Okay. Say okay, love, don't I? We're having a bit of a wild camp tonight. It's a wild camp. I'll be parking at a pub car park because it's my birthday. So I'll be having a couple of beers. So off to Tesco's, or Asda, sorry. Get some stuff because it's my birthday. I'm going to get some cupcakes and stuff out. Meet my friends in the pub. Have a couple of, have something to eat. A bit of drinking. And to save myself £10 taxi fare. And because I've got a diesel heater fitted in Millie now. I'm going to have a, a bit of a stopover in the car park. Happy days. Happy days. Hopefully not a problem. No one's going to have cause any issues, anything like that. And uh, we're going to have a good night out. Catch you later. So it's a good job we came out tonight. Uh, let's go where they got a leak. Just a, a little bit of leak. That was after a few minutes. Was... Fixing it with a carrier bag and a zip tie. Uh... Now a lot of people park up in Asda car park, which I don't understand. But we're gonna get some provisions, basically. Some more booze and some snacks. Cause I know I'm gonna come back tonight and I'm gonna be starving. So, uh, snacky snacks. So it's a good job we came out tonight. Uh, let's go with a leak. We only took the exhaust off for the gas heater. <laughs> that is just pissing it down. Everything in the cupboard's wet. Uh, so I've kind of bodged it with a zip tie and a carrier bag. Uh, hopefully that's going to have to do. Unfortunately, the cupboard's also the cupboard with all the electrics in. So not good news on that one. So we'll see what it's like. But yeah, it's pissed it down. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be able to do tonight. I'm just going to have to you know, do the best I've done. I kind of bodged it a bit. I'll show you the, what I did. That's the fixing it with a carrier bag and a zip tie. Uh, but you can see all my clothes is wet, so for some reason might be oh, no loss there, but yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the neck. And it's absolutely chucking it down outside. A bit more than just a, a little bit of leak. That was after a few minutes. It was like before I really plugged it, so about an inch of water in there. Hmm. Okay, so I put the heater on. And dry. <laughs> Like eco flow, which is absolutely drenched. That was in the cupboard. I don't want to turn that on while it's damp. Hopefully, hasn't done any long damage to it. But yeah, a little pain in the neck that. And I'll dry up around everywhere else. Well, this table seems to be wet. Everything seems. I don't know, but then I don't know how much of it the rain I brought in because I came in and it was raining. So, uh, I'm gonna get changed for my night out now and hopefully I'm not gonna come back to a complete flooded motorhome. Looks like we've got a damp window as well. A good thing about a pub stopover is full English in the morning. So I'm off to get breakfast. I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts too 
So here we are doing a product review. This is be your own barrister anywhere, anytime. It's basically, it's a coffee machine, but in a bag. So you just pour the coffee in and it's not instant coffee. It's filtered coffee anywhere, any place. Great for camping, motorhomes, fan life, etc. So let's see if it's any good. Let's have a look what's inside here. Okay, it's like a bag. And you get one. You get three of these. Uh, read the instructions. I need to get my glasses. There's a open brew serve. Uh, are you to my instructions that? Uh, okay. Oh, that does smell good, that does smell good. So basically what you got is a, I guess it's here. Close zipper. Oh, it's got, yeah, uh, strong, medium, mild. Okay, so depending on how much water I put in. Single origin special coffee. Do, 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 do. What do I do? Okay, just take that off. All right, at the end that just snaps off. And, uh, yeah, I think after last night, a nice cup of coffee will be perfect. Open the bag up. That's about medium. Oh, it does kind of stand up like that. See how it stands up. So leave it there for a couple of minutes to brew. And then I'll get a nice cup of coffee. Oh, I do like coffee. See what it actually. Yeah, it's not great. A bitter, bitter taste to it, I would say. Yeah. Guess I take mine black if you. Put some milk and sugar in this. Probably wouldn't taste too bad, but I wouldn't. I run wouldn't run to get it. Unfortunately, I bought these myself, like all my products. I buy them myself to save you. It's a good idea. They do do different flavors of coffee. I might try some different flavors. I'll put some more details on exactly what type that was. I think it was. I bought three all the same. You get like mixed packs. Not cheap. I think seven ninety nine for three cups of coffee. Uh, which I guess isn't too bad but for 7 eight, nine, you get a big jar of instant so and I kind of expect it to taste a little bit better I don't know it's not smooth it's not it doesn't even taste like you know uh, like a French press or cafeteria coffee it's a uh, no it's not and the bag's not insulated and I like my coffee quite warm because you've got to leave it to brew I don't need to leave it too long to brew I'll leave it a couple of minutes I, I, yeah I'm not sure I'll try the other two anyway, and let you know. 
As I say, I've maybe left this to brew a bit too long because it's come out a little bit bitter. But I'll give the others a try and see. Because I know I'm, I'm normally a two cup coffee guy, and this is just, it's not even a full cup. I suppose get two cups of coffee out there. Maybe I didn't put enough water in, but I, I, would, I could get any more water in there. I'll give the others another try. Okay, so that was Colombian brew. And I'm now going to try a Honduras brew. It not be said that I don't test products to the full. So I'm going to have another coffee. Things I do for you guys. You know, things I do for you. Another coffee. I need another coffee because someone got a little bit drunk last night. And the van's leaking, so we had a very eye wee. I had a very wet night. Leaky cupboard from the chimney from uh, where I'd removed the gas heater. So I need to work out how I'm going to stop that from leaking. And then also I've got leaky windows. So Star FX, Star FX is going to go overtime. In the meantime, I'm making a break up at the bed as well. Don't stop, you know. Always on the go. So let me explain how it works. You've got like a little bag here, which you put your water in. I'm guessing that's the coffee filter and the actual f coffee filters down comes in the bottom here. Uh, I don't know if you have a look. That's your kind of like a coffee filter bag, but there's a gap here and that's just where your, your coffee sits. Just, just take the top off. You can put your coffee in there. The only thing I don't like is it's quite a lot of waste. That's quite a lot of waste. I know it's brown paper, it's probably, I don't know, but there is plastic in there as well. And I, I'm not a big fan of one use things, so. Hmm. At least one smells like a bit nicer than the other one, though. So this one, I'm not going to boil the water so much, but let boil it and then let it cool down again. So we all know you don't make coffee with boiling water and uh, see if that helps. And then gonna let it brew more. I don't know. I'm gonna read the instructions again. I think a couple of minutes. Oh, it's kettle boiling. It says here, four minutes mild, eight minutes strong. I quite don't like it strong. I also don't like it cold though, so let's see what it does. It just doesn't seem as strong as the last one. I didn't use boiling water, so let's see if it tastes less bitter. Oh, uh, let's see what this tastes like. Actually, that's better. Yeah, it's a lot nicer, a lot smoother. Uh, not as strong as I normally like it, so that was for three minutes. So if you like it stronger, I recommend leaving it probably for eight. Uh, and it's but it's still nice and hot, so I would say eight minutes is probably a better option. So I might try eight minutes with the other one. But I certainly couldn't have any more coffee. So I'm not going to tell you where I am, uh, but people who probably know Mount Kings probably know where I am. I haven't, I haven't gone far from where I live, but I was out last night. Uh, and the reason why is this car park was full of vans, so. Everyone seems to know about it, so it's not like it's a big, it's a kept secret. It, there was probably, I would say, eight or nine vans here uh, last night. So, yeah, seems like be a popular spot. So, comment below if you want me to do a video of my uh, everyday carrying Millie. This goes into the cupboard. I did have some sealant last night, but it was just, you know, there was too much heavy rain, and I didn't have any way to get on the roof. And also, my handle was in the garage. So, but yeah, got some Cerafix, and this tape's quite useful. Uh, I'm just going to use both of it and hope for the best. So, as you can see, I've sealed all the windows with uh, Silka Flex. Silka Flex. 
think you should. I mean, Millie should be sponsored by still the amount of. I think it's been held together by this now. God knows how many tubes I've used on it, but as you can see, what I've done is I've sealed all the windows, but I've ran out. So I need another tube, and then I'm going to investigate what I'm going to do with the chimney. Okay, so I can tell it seems to be leaking around here. Uh, How's he in there? Let's go up on the roof. So it's not a pretty repair job. Well, I like to see any water getting into there. There you go then. I've sealed all the sides, the bottom. If it leaks now, I give up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a pretty much good job. So there you go. Day in the life of a motorhome owner. Uh, ups, downs and sideways. So, you know, I've sealed all the windows, sealed the roof. Uh, didn't wasn't how I planned my day off to celebrate my birthday, but needs must. Fingers crossed, you know, come winter, Millie's not going to leak anymore, but let's, uh, let's see. But, uh, you get damp in these old motorhomes, but there's some serious damp in there. Hopefully I've done all the leaks, but, you know, if you like what you're seeing and you want to follow me, it does help the channel. It's free. Click subscribe, like, comment below. What do you think? Well, how, how would you have solved the problem? Uh, I always open for advice and uh, give me a shout below. Next time, catch you later. Bye.